U.S. A lot of hand wringing about the Fed, when they're going to cut. But you're saying the Fed really hasn't been a factor in the markets. Does that change at all in the near future in your mind? Should investors be watching out for this PCE report? Yeah, they should. You know, you, you cannot discount the Fed completely out of the picture, right? They, they, they will keep their message about that this is a rate that may have to stay higher for longer. And that's starting to come into the market. So we could probably get a little bit of pressure here, as you see this morning, because, as you mentioned, the, the rate cuts have been pushed out. Right. And the Fed doesn't have to cut rates at this right this moment. The economy is showing a lot of strength. So. Right. I mean, strength is putting it lightly, Ben. I yeah. mean, there's so much momentum in the markets that the, the economic data just keeps coming in stronger and stronger. So I do have to ask you, we're seeing a big momentum trade when it comes to the S&P, the Nasdaq, even the Dow right now. Um, as an investor, what could stop all this momentum? If Maybe it's PCE. Is there something else coming up? Is it simply the fact that the rates are being pushed out? If they get pushed out even further, does that slow down the momentum here? It could slow it down, but I also think that people will take a look at that the valuations of, of tech look really like accelerated now. Right. On the other hand, last week, we did get some broadening of the rally in certain sectors, as you mentioned, retail or, or healthcare right. or financials is happening. So it's also about the economy strengthening. So yeah. in a way, it keeps rates higher for longer, maybe take some of the, the momentum off the top at this moment. Yeah, to your point, consumer staples was the leading sector last week, but just by like 0.1% over tech, just to keep it in, in perspective. Yeah. All right, so talking about momentum, we got to talk about NVIDIA. Uh, you gave us a great chart. Um, so according to you, the technicals are showing that there's going to be some consolidation when it comes to the chip maker, but you actually think that's a good thing. So explain that to me. Consolidation generally isn't a good thing when it comes to a stock. Yeah, in this case, because you have such a parabolic movement in, in the stock and it, what we say called overbought, that, that if you get consolidation, some of that overbought stretching will be moderating. I think that gives the investors some, say, pause here to take its stock of the earnings and the valuation and say, OK, if there's more to go, then you have a better level to, to enter. You know, later in the show, we're going to talk about Berkshire Hathaway. I know New Edge does not own Berkshire, but you were on a couple weeks ago, maybe a month or two ago, and you were also bullish on Japan. So you made some big bets on Japan, too. How much longer are you going to look to ride that trade? I was sticking with it for the time being because it's not only the Berkshire trade there itself is in the banks, right. but you also have the semiconductor industry that's really uh, accelerating there. Plus, the Bank of Japan has not... You know, pulled away any kind of stimulus and the, and the economy is doing okay. So right. it's actually a good market to be in.